740, we'll be right back. We are heading to New York City to go one-on-one -on -one with a Valley native who just happens to be starring on the Broadway production of Grease. It's all thanks to a reality show he tried out for almost a year ago, exactly. I auditioned November 2006, okay. my first initial audition. And then there was Grease Academy, which was like 10 days of hardcore, hardcore training and stuff like that in December. And then the live show started in January, and then I won the show March 25th of this year. So it's been almost a year, and almost. essentially your life has turned upside down. Everything right? is different for you. Yes, yes, everything. Oh, I'm on the other side of the country. My, how things have changed for Max Crum. We'll have that story coming up next. There are few jobs, I think, in the entertainment industry that require more blood, sweat, and tears than performing on Broadway. Tara, you have that right, but when you're the lead in Greece on Broadway, it is all worth it, let me tell you. So that's why we headed to New York City to check in with Max Crum. He is a Valley native who is making his dream come true. He always wanted to perform on Broadway. He only thought it would take him about 20 years longer to do so. I got you. Audiences have flipped for Valley native Max Crum in the latest Broadway production of Grease. Max says life in the big city is made for an electrifying year on stage and off. A lot of time I feel like I'm in a movie. You know, I'll walk down the street and I'll realize as I'm walking to work with my iPod, I'm like, wow, I'm, I'm going to a Broadway stage door. You know, it's, it's, it's such a cool city and it's so alive and there's so many people living here. Some are loving. Had me a blast. Some loving happened so fast. It's such an iconic song, you know, that it's each night when it starts, I still kind of go to myself, wow, I'm singing this. I get to do this. That one's a classic, and the actor who now plays Danny Zuko is always focused on his favorite song, except for this one time in show number eight. Tell me more. At the end of Summer Nights, I was just thinking about, oh, I have a day off now, you know. <laughs> And I was just like, wow, what am I going to do tomorrow? I'm going to do this and do this. And it was right at those summer, you know, and then the big note. And I just wasn't thinking. And I just didn't sing. And Laura was like, nah. So I was like, oh, nah, oh. And like, it just did not, it did not sound good. And I tried about four notes. And then I was like, uh, and I just sang a really high note and finished the song. But, but it was cool. I talked to the sound guy. He was like, no, no problem. I turned you off. Max has been playing to sold-out crowds and receiving some unusual examples of <clears throat> fan appreciation. I guess I can't really say some of the things I've gotten. Oh, please do. But, <laughs> well, I mean, I, one of the interviews I did, I said I liked avocados or something like that. Somebody sent me like, a box of 45 avocados. <laughs> and I get really weird, like gold or checks, just random really? checks. Yeah, but stuff you I have cash to. Them? No, I don't cash them. I just like rip them up. <laughs> I mean, why would I cash them? <laughs> Thank you so much for that. <laughs> for what amount? Yeah, I mean, like for like five hundred dollars. Really? Yeah, it's strange. There are people who are just like, I want your future to be well, and it's just oh. like, they, you know, I'll send them a letter back. Thank uh -huh. you, but I can't. I, mean, I can't do that. That's so <laughs> random. But the best thing is really knowing he's introducing many to Broadway for the first time. A lot of people are coming to see the show that have never seen a Broadway show before. A lot of kids that have never been to New York and families are really, you know, taking a chance. And I'm so thankful and glad to be a part of that. It's a long way from Phoenix's Valley Youth Theater, where Max honed his craft alongside American Idol, Jordan Sparks, and super bads, Emma Stone. She's the one who told us about an impression Max is famous for. The funniest thing you'll ever hear in your oh. life. It's Count Chocula. It's oh. kind of a, uh, it's a, it's a silly voice, mm -hmm. and it, uh, it comes out when I'm tired or excited. Yeah? Yeah. And, and Count Chocula sings Shakira? Well, yeah, but <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe she said that. She set it up! <laughs> All right. No, I won't do it. I'll get too embarrassed. You perform in front of hundreds of people. I know, I know, but that's like not my own material. Fine, so let's get back to the material he is comfortable with. The hand drive's one of those dances like the Macarena where <laughs> it's all open to interpretation. Except for the 
dancing and the singing, I always thought I would be great on Broadway also. <laughs> <laughs> great, maybe just a straight play or something. Since this is as close as I'll ever get to making my Broadway dreams reality, Max made my day even greater by letting me play Sandy to his Danny. is unfortunately as you may have heard Greece and most other Broadway shows are dark right now as they say in that business until the stagehand strike is settled when that is over Max will return to the stage as Danny Zuko through at least next year I want to hear the count chocolate can you, like you believe he, here's a guy who goes out and entertains night after night eight shows a and week he was too nervous he got so embarrassed we went around like that about 10 times I couldn't <laughs> somebody believe will it. have him do and then he would go days. okay I'll do it no I can't oh okay I'll do it no I can't You're killing me yeah. I made everybody turn away the whole bit I feel for those folks we were talking yesterday about all these people that go to New York during the holidays <sighs> to see a show and have tickets and well, he had told me he had been out sick for only one production since this began, and right. he got many letters in response to missing that one show. And obviously, there's an understudy ready to play his role. But right, but you go was there for spirit. They I know. went to see him based on the reality show, right? And uh, it was very disappointing for. Well, he's getting good family. reviews, though. You Great say. Great reviews. Good. So, and he's a doll. So he says he'll come by here in the summer when he's back in town. I hope so. We'll give him the Count Chocula. <laughs>